Hey YouTube, it's Christy Nitro from the fabulous Las Vegas area and today I have a video response. This one goes out to Barbara Alexander here on YouTube. This is her channel name and it is her My Birthday Challenge giveaway. Um, the video part of it goes through September 30th and the card part goes through October 4th. So you have plenty of opportunity to participate in this one and I think we all should. Not only is Barbara a sweetheart, she needs some advice and I'm sure we all could use this advice as well. So Barbara, fantastic challenge and of course I'll help you. Um, I'm not going to give it all away though because I do want you guys to go and check out all the rules because there's tons of way that you can enter into the challenge. So first off, I just want to say I cannot imagine starting again, but I can see where the problem lies. There are so many products out there and even I look down the aisle sometimes and I get confused or online and I'm just like I've never heard of that before why would I want that so first off I'm just gonna try to make a funny and say my number one recommendation for crafting is coffee <laughs> I cannot live without it so that's my number one go-to I I have such a busy schedule, I can't imagine crafting without it. It seems to go hand in hand. But uh, on a more serious note, I do love alcohol inks. If you've ever watched a video of mine before, I constantly gravitate towards my alcohol inks. Of course, they're nothing new. They've been around for generations. And Tim Holtz kind of, I guess, revamped them in his own way. So I'm not gonna go too big into detail of what alcohol inks do but I will recommend definitely if you're looking for colors get earth tones and metallics you will absolutely use them the most so remember earth tones and metallics or you know if you are more of a girly girl and you like to do more girly things there's tons of reds and pinks and stuff like that as well but it all depends on you I'm just saying earth tones metallics you can't go wrong with those choices. So a brief introduction to them is we all have these metal embellishments just hanging around and most of the time they just come in the basic colors. And I don't know about you, but this silver is not going to look good on this coffin. So what I did was just add some of the rust and the black and I made it this blood distressed old looking color. And I think it works perfectly for that project but there's several different ways you can use it on um, plastics you like beadwork so you have a glass bead and it, you love that design but you really wish it was blue there you go problem solved and it comes out wonderful on glass so plastic even um, transparent stickers if you have them you want to change them up alcohol inks I'm telling you and they dry so quick so you can just move on to the next step of your project um, I personally cannot live without the palette. Uh, this is something that I think he came out with uh, not too long ago and I absolutely love it. I have a fine arts degree and back in the day I wish I had something like this. Uh, it's just these little individual palettes that you just drop a few, literally like three or four just bloops of the alcohol ink. You go in with this little brush that has two tips on it and then you have your blending solution in it so you just dip the tip in and then you can paint almost like a watercolor and I think that's fabulous I mean look at how convenient that is there you go that's all you would need on your desk and you can go to town um, absolutely fantastic so if you do have those little beads this would be a perfect solution for you and then your colors that's all up to you um, another major product that I do recommend is the pick-me-up I mean first off who couldn't use a pick-me-up and uh, this one's from Silhouette uh, most of the major companies out there have something similar to this but also I have not extremely long nails but somewhat longer nails and I can't pick up some of the embellishments especially those little itty bitty jewels so this end if you just pull this little bad boy off it's got this like little sticky gunk on it 
So say you want it your bead, there you go. Bam, picked up and then you can place it wherever you need to on your project. So it comes in handy. The other end, they just have these little, I guess you can say, um, kind of like pointed tips. This one I just like for uh, pushing around things, kind of like getting it in place where I need to. And this end, uh, besides getting out like little plastics or papers from like cutouts, it also comes in really handy for getting some things from under your nail. So uh, kind of a little bonus. And this is extremely cheap. I mean, I got this for, I think, $3. So you can't really go wrong, and I go for it more so than not. I really hope this helped you and some other viewers, and I can't wait to see the products that you recommend because everyone needs a little help now and again. So thank you, Barbara, for your challenge, and as always, you guys, keep crafting. Bye.